Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Tuesday on FIFA Ultimate Team, and it's a very interesting day because we are ending ending the Foot Freeze promo, Road to the Finals. Foot Freeze cards are going out of packs, as you see here on the info screens. These guys are going away. Uh, the objectives are going away. A lot of SBCs are going away, and it's like this Foot Freeze promo is kind of ending, right? And we're not really sure what is next because team of the year seems to be on the horizon but is it going to be coming this next week are we going to get team of the year nominees so i just want to unpack some of my thoughts about that today because i'm not entirely sure if we're getting team of the week this next week the first week of january you know today if we see loading screens if we see stuff like that or any sort of hints towards team of the year that might be a big clue but as of right now we're just kind of sitting here like yo what's going to happen we know team of the year is coming, but when is it exactly going to be? And I'm going to talk about a few of my ideas and just a few of my feelings and what I feel could be happening based off of this foot freeze promo ending and it just kind of being like a weird a weird stop time, right? You know, they are they are ending this promo on a Tuesday, which is just a bit weird. Um, the normal, a lot of promos run Friday to Friday. Some promos run until like Sunday or Monday, but it's a Tuesday. We had one promo earlier this year that, that stopped on a Tuesday as well, um, which was interesting in its own right. But let's just talk about all the stuff that is expiring today on Tuesday, right? We take a look at these upgrade SBCs that people have been going at hard. Like people have been trying to pack these free freeze items for the past couple of weeks. I, not a lot of people have packed them, but there's been so many people doing upgrades because there's just not a lot to do in the game right now. And a lot of people have been doing those. But if you take a look at other SBCs that are expiring, you have Wamba Saka expiring in one day, 12 hours. Joao Victor is expiring as well, one day, 12 hours. You have Team of Week upgrade that goes in a couple of days. Nabry goes in three days. So it's just getting a lot of the SBCs have already started expiring as well. It just seems like this whole promo is kind of coming to an abrupt stop today and the next couple of days and again i'm still getting weird vibes because it's a tuesday ending of a promo now one thing i do want to talk about is yesterday we did get more icon sbcs ea finally gave us more icon sbcs which i think a lot of people were not very happy with because fernando torres yes new icon of the game but for the price that it is i think the sbc is coming out to right now Footbin is saying that the Fernando Torres SBC is 900,000 coins, and that is exactly where his icon card was at. Hero is 430k. His icon card was like 470, and I'm, I'm I'm not even sure about John Barnes, but it just icon SBCs this year are a massive L as well so far. Like the price points have been too expensive, the player selection has been eh, uh, and it's just not the same icon SBCs as of old. So I think people are just kind of disappointed with that. Although again, if you do want to craft any of these SBCs you're going to be able to do so during the team of the year promo since they're out for 45 days. We also had another foot freeze party bag and that made some market movements, which we've seen some, uh, you know, rebounds from. We'll talk about that in, in a minute as well. But again, speaking on just team of the year type stuff, um, you know, today, what do we get on, on Tuesday, right? What are we looking forward to today? is kind of a day where if EA really is going to start team of the year next Monday, because team of the year usually starts on a Monday with attackers going in packs on that Monday and Tuesday midfielders on a Wednesday and Thursday. And then, oh wait, is that right? They, they, they flipped it around. Like sometimes they put the goalkeeper and defenders in packs, then they go midfielders, then attackers. And then other years they went attackers, midfielders, defenders. And then they put the entire team in packs. So, you know, it, but regardless, if we get a loading screen today about team of the year, because EA has done this the past couple of years. I don't know if you guys ever remember any of these loading screens that we had during team of the year, uh, but they were pretty crazy, right? This is the team of your squad from last year. And again, last year, if you do remember at all, Messi's kind of hiding behind my camera right there, but um, last year we had loading screens that were like three, four, five days ahead of time where they kind of showed us like a locker room kind of look. They'd reveal the car design. They revealed just the team of your logo. They revealed a flashback SBC car design and a, um, a player moments SBC car design for all the content they were going to be releasing. And then they tried to like drop some hints and some clues because last year, the past few years, ever since FIFA 18 team of the year has been voted on right it's been a community vote or some sort of percentage of the choice has been community vote now of course 
Uh, we never know who actually wins because EA runs the vote. They can kind of change it the way they wanted to and however they want to do that. So I expect it to be this year again, voting based. Now, this was the team of the year again last year. A lot of people have started to make predictions and concepts. I'm going to have a prediction video soon on what I think team of the year is going to be. Uh, and I'm going to take a standpoint as like, I think that EA is going to be voting on team of the year again. So I think it's going to be community voted. And we're going to talk about meta players that will get in. I think they'll do the 12th man again this year as well. Um, obviously, last year, Cristiano Ronaldo was the 12th man. He beat out Neymar in the vote. And again, the EA just keeps getting a little bit more sellout every single year. Maybe this is the year where we have a starting 11 and six players on the bench or a couple players on the bench for team of the year. I would not be surprised if they somehow, if if Messi, or Ronaldo, and Lewandowski are the three attackers that win team of the year, I would feel like EA would somehow try to get in an Mbappe, a Neymar, maybe a Mane, you know, some other players that they could obviously sell packs and make and make money from. So this is the FIFA Pro World 11, which I think EA bases their team of the year nominees, which we had last year as well. Um, and we haven't heard anything about this year. Any of the nominees, man, we haven't had nominees in packs. We haven't had any anything related to these cards this year. Uh, last year, they were like, uh, they caused the market crash because they were very packable. They were basically like the old UCL cards from FIFA 19, plus one ratings with dynamic images, uh, and people love them, right? People love these cards. They kind of ca caused the market to crash. And if EA are doing team of the year nominees, they kind of have to do it this week, and then they would run team of the year after this next week. I'm just not entirely sure if they're going to do nominees this year since it's already so close to the beginning of the year. I'm not really sure if they're going to actually do it. It might just be where they start to get the votes out. But last year, we they started the team of the year voting already. Like It was going on like during Christmas time. I remember that. Team of the year voting was happening during that time. We haven't heard hide or hair about it at all this year yet. So maybe we'll start to see something today on Tuesday if they're going to start doing voting. Now, again, this is the FIFA Pro Men's World 11. So this is what team of the year used to be based off of uh, was the revealed at the best FIFA awards. Uh, and this year they had Allison, Trent, Ramos, Van Dyke, Alfonso Davies, De Bruyne, Thiago, Kimmich, Messi, Lewandowski, and Ronaldo made it into the FIFA Pro Men's World 11. So this is what team of the year in FIFA used to be based off of. EA would just release a team with these players as team of the year, and that's about it. But now, of course, in the past few years, they have taken into account voting, especially FIFA 19. We saw that with Messi, Mbappe, Ronaldo. I think there was a 12th man Neymar in FIFA 19 as well as a part of the squad. FIFA 18 is one that I remember because of the, the Harry Kane and the Bonucci. I remember those were like two very different cards that got in the first year that they actually did voting for team of the year so it's going to be interesting to see what ea does this year and I'm, I'm just thinking that today is a day where if if team of the year is this next week whether it's going to be nominees that come out in packs or whether it's going to be the real deal i feel like team of the year is going to start on january 4th or january 11th either of those two days is when i would expect team of the year to start unless ea is going to do something different and I don't think they're going to overpass this promo. Like, Team of the Year is the, in my opinion, like the number one promo that happens all year in foot. I, I would I would venture to say it is the most popular promo that happens in this game. So I don't think it's going to be skipped over this year. There's no way it's going to be skipped over. So as these Road to the Final cards go out of packs, as these Foot Freeze items go out of packs, just keep notice today. I don't feel like you need to panic sell anything like that, but the minute we do get a loading screen, I do think you are going to see some people just go out and sell cards and there's going to be an initial wave of panic. And we were talking about this on stream today as well, especially with Road to the Final set three cards that people have started investing in, right? This Joao Cancelo Road to the Final, 139K. He was 115 on the weekend. He's up about 25,000 coins almost. That card is being invested in, and I think once people see the Team of the Year loading screen and they start to see this Team of the Year content, uh, I think there's a possibility for some more panic selling to happen after that, especially on these cards that a lot of people are invested in at the moment. This Alaba was 370. He's now up to 400K. People aren't buying him because they're thinking, yo, Alfonso Davies probably getting into Team of the Year. This is a live item. Bayern, of course, a very high possibility of more upgrades for this card. Neuer could possibly getting team of the year as well. So it's a lot of people are feel, trying to like link invest this with the team of the year. I'm just not a huge fan of that. But 
Um, I do think these cards will rise, but I feel like there's going to be panic before that rise actually happens. So just be very careful if you're investing in Road to the Final Set 3s with Team of the Year coming. I might just opt out and take the coins, man. I might just opt out and take the coins if you're making money on those already. Now, again, today on the market, there was another foot freeze party bag SBC. And it honestly just feels like right now we are getting kind of like filler content, right? Like the promo is ending and EA is just leaving a couple SBCs out. There's really no objectives. We have a new season coming on Friday. I don't know if they're going to actually run a promo when they run the new season, right? Because if you're doing icon swaps, you only have until Friday to get them done. That's myself included. But here in the top left, top right, uh, you can see there are three days left. It's a three. Three days left until Friday when the season will reset and icon swaps will be renewed. We'll have more cards that'll be put out. So I'm really curious to see if EA tries to drop a promo on the same day as that, or um, if we're getting loading screens. Like it's really a big question mark this week, but we're heading into that team of the year time frame where anything is possible. And we'll see what EA wants to do with this promo this year. So and that's why I'm kind of talking about it today. And I'm very curious because I just want to start getting our minds right for team of the year because some people have been thinking about it. But now it's like actually legitimately the next thing that we should see in foot is related to team of the year. So that's it's going to be a lot of team of the year focused content in the next couple of a couple of days and honestly, a couple of weeks as we have um, stuff come out in the game, either leading up to team of the year with nominees, with loading screens and stuff like that, or the actual cards out in the game and a lot of market movements around that time frame. So, again, you're still seeing a lot of low prices on the market and especially today with this secondary party bag SBC, which by the way, those are trash. I opened those today on stream, I posted a video on YouTube. I literally titled it. These SBCs are trash. These packs are so bad, man. I got road to the final Kubo. So at least I got a live item, but those packs are really, really bad. So this guy, Marcus Rashford was 85,000 coins today at his lowest. He went back up to 90, um, 91, 92 K. Let me show you this graph though. This is a pretty crazy graph on Rashford. Now, not all cards had this movement today, but a lot of cards were panic sold and they did rebound. So what happened was I bought Rashford Sunday night down here at the, like the, almost the 90, the 91 K range on Sunday night, I was up by buying them and I was selling them almost a couple lazy sales at 103 K. And then boom, another party bag comes out today. He drops down to 86,000 coins and is now rebounded back to 90. He was 63 K on the Xbox and is rebounded to 69 K. Now, not all cards did that, right? Because players like Joe Gomez went from like 29 K to 25. He's 26 really hasn't moved that much. Mane went from 215 to 190. He hasn't moved. Varan is up like five, six, seven thousand coins. Mendy is really not up that much either. Um, but there were some out of packs cards that got panic sold and then rebounded, rebounded as well. Salah was 225. He's now back to 240. So yes, you are seeing some of these really meta cards bounce back a little, but it just seems like more and more people are expecting team of the year. Uh, and at the moment, I think it's making people not really want to buy cards that much. Now, of course, we will do Thursday flipping this week for sure, unless we get a loading screen, um, because I feel like there's a lot of a, a younger, not a younger, but a newer player base in this game. And this is what I've really been talking about on stream is focusing on the cards that are cheap. De Bruyne right now is cheap. 380, that's a card you can easily sell over 400K, especially on a weekend. Um, but I've been looking at guys like Nicolas Pepe and Diogo Jota, cards that new players getting into FIFA 21 for the first time are going to be buying and looking at on a lower budget. Ali Watkins striker card was like 52K. He's now 57. Llorente was 150. He's 160 now. Um, Konate was like 26K earlier today. He'll probably be able to sell at 30K. Lozano was up 10,000 coins. So some of these cheaper cards, even like from Rule Breakers, man, like I've really been watching this Podence card. Lukaku is up a decent amount. Di Maria is up a decent amount. Um, I've really been watching Andre, who is low, and Kamara. Kamara was 52K earlier today. Andre was 53, 54K last night, Sunday night into Monday rebounded back to almost 60,000 coins where I was selling multiple of them today. And now he's back down to 54. And it's just like, um, people kind of panic sold that stuff that they were maybe investing for a, a early week flip. Now I talked to you guys and I said, Hey, this was a buying opportunity earlier this week. I still stand by that. If you bought stuff on Sunday night, I still have a lot of stuff, right? I only have 313 K at the moment. 
and I have a lot of cards that I've still invested in. I'm probably going to be not trying to get sales on these, but trying to squeeze out some of these coins today, pre 6 p.m. UK, just in case we do get some sort of team of the year related content, because I feel like what people are just now we're in the stage of FIFA right now where people are just waiting. And once we see team of the year, once we see anything related to team of the year, there's going to be some panic selling. Number one, people are going to panic sell the investments that they made because they want to get geared up and ready. And one thing you're going to see when we actually know what team of the year is, is people are going to start buying gold rares, gold rares, man. They're going to start buying these cards because they think they're going to have to turn them in for SBCs. And it looks like right now, 750 coins is what you have to pay for rare golds from the Prem, probably the most popular league for upgrade packs during team of the year. So if you want to start stocking the golds, um, I mean, you probably have to pay 700 coins on bid, 650, 700 on bid to win a lot of these guys, because a lot of people right now are going unassigned for upgrade packs during that time frame. That's one thing to kind of think about with uh, if you're planning to do a lot of upgrade packs during team of the year. And I want to talk about SBC fodder for this for a second right now, too. Uh, stuff is really, really high, of course, today after the party bag. 84s are 8,000 coins. Get them out. 85s are 15K. Some of them are extinct. Get them out. Um, 86s are 24, like 25,000 coins as well. I would sell, man. I would really cash a lot of the stuff. 83s, some people are asking me, are these going to go to 2K? It, since the Team of Week SBCs have no hype, I really do not think they are going to go that much higher. So maybe you don't mess around with 83s that much. But I would sell 84, 85, and 86s. Uh, because a lot of the SBCs that those are being required for are now going away. Could they release another party bag? Yes, they could. They could technically release another party bag SBC later this week, maybe on Thursday or something, or maybe Friday, I think, which is when the one is out right now. I think the one that is out right now expires on, yeah, expires on Friday, Thursday or Friday? Um, yeah, the first, the second foot freeze party bag, I think that might expire on Friday. I'm not entirely sure. It says two days remaining on footbin. But I don't know if that's like two days and however many hours, or if it's like one day and however many hours and footman is just rounding it to two. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm thinking that would actually go until Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, I think, is when that party bag would go away. So again, boys, right now we are transitioning into just a big question mark in this game because really, what is there to do? There's, especially from like today until Friday, when we probably will have a new season, new icon swaps and stuff like that. Your objectives are going away today, except for milestone players and silver stars. And if you haven't finished icon swaps, which I haven't, you have those to do. But SBC wise, you have a couple player of the months that are still lingering if you really wanted to do those. But SBC fodder is really expensive, so I would cash that out. You have more icons. Today, one thing we could see is possibly more league SBCs. Since they finally dropped icons back in again today, we might see more icons. We also might see another set of league SBCs input, unless they're only going to be doing four of these at a time which like two sets at a time which would be crazy because these still have 71 days remaining um but we might see more league sbcs because people have been asking for that and i feel like it's just kind of like about time for those to be uh re reinstated right we need some more league sbcs people have been complaining about that but it's honestly kind of seeming a bit boring on the game right now if, if i'm being completely honest there's just we're in like a middle time where there's not really a promo that's going to be happening. We're waiting for team of the year hype. So we will see if EA drops anything today uh, on Tuesday. I'm really curious to see what they do. If it's a loading screen, if it's nothing. I wasn't expecting months yesterday on Monday and we got the party bag and new icons. So that was kind of interesting uh, as well. Uh, for sure. Let's see if EA does it again today on Tuesday. But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions about team of the year, what I'm going to be doing over team of the year, drop it down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.